Her body's gold like September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down What's up guys and welcome to day three technically of the cruise. This is stop number two. Today we are in beautiful St. Kitts. Our home away from home. This is like honestly one of our favorite places on the planet. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know Junior. He races NASCAR. He's been in a few of the vlogs. We go to the races with him and stuff. He and his family have a really cool diving business down here like commercial welding and, and stuff like that. Like kind of more industrial type of diving. And uh, they have a place down here. So we've been down here three times before, twice on New Year's, once during the summer, and we absolutely love it here. Now, unfortunately, neither Junior nor his dad are here this time, and like whenever they're here, we always take the boats out and the jet skis and all kinds of stuff. They have all the toys, but we're still gonna go and hang out. We have a good friend, TJ, who works here, who works for them, that we're gonna hang out with today. We're gonna go to like Shipwreck and Reggae Beach, which are some really cool, nice beach bars. And? Hang out. What are we not skis. going to do? We're not going to lose a GoPro. <laughs> we are three for three for losing GoPros in St. Kitts, so today, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Speaking of their business down here, they're actually doing the diving portion of adding this new cruise ship so dock. exciting. I'm like really happy to be here, but it's also not going to be the same. We miss it's you, Junior weird. and Captain. It's, it's just not, I don't know, it's going to be odd. It's also weird coming in off of a cruise dock. Normally, you like fly in, you walk up the runway and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. this isn't as glamorous. I don't think we've ever really seen this. Like we've never, we had breakfast at one spot down here once, but. Where the small puppy dog is here. Oh yeah. No, thank you. One of these stores right here has a little white dog that's kind of like the store mascot that Chelsea really loved. Also, do you remember that little German Shepherd you found? Yeah, that you tried. I wanted to make Captain own it, but yeah. he said no. We weren't going to be able to take it back on the airplane with us, but she wanted Captain to adopt it to have an island dog down here, so... I, was, I wasn't well, going to ask him, I was just going to gift it, but everybody else said no. Hey man, no thanks. It gets kind of crazy at some of these cruise ports, man. You kind of say no like 50 times. No thanks, bro. No thanks, bro. TJ, where are you? Save us! So the first thing we did was go to the school, which is kind of like the main location for the business. It's where they house some of the students and feed them and that they're building up classrooms and they keep all the equipment and the ships and stuff like that. It's truly a very fascinating business. And so we, we went, we kind of checked out everything that had been built up since we were last there and kind of caught up with some old friends and stuff. It was a great time, not really good for camera stuff, but it was a good time for us personally. And then we went to lunch. So we made it to Reggae, which is one of our favorite spots on the island, without a doubt. They have some of the best conch chowder, some of the best lobster sandwiches. Here's TJ we were telling you guys about. Pick this up. Boom. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Good to see you. Missed you big time. Carob, local island beer. Chels, you got some chicken fingers because she can't eat seafood. But this is just the most beautiful beach bar ever. And we're about to go swimming as soon as we get done eating. You're the man, TJ. We love you. Have Bye. a good time. I'm sad. I know. I'm I really love sad. TJ. So we had a great time. I don't know how much we recorded, honestly. It was just kind of like an extended lunch for him, so we didn't want to do anything too crazy. We just wanted to hang out, see a lot of our friends, and chill out on the beach. So that's exactly so what nice. we did. So nice. And now it's time to get back on that baby right there. Look at that butt. That is a good looking butt up there. <laughs> kind of feel like bad youtubers today Sorry guys. we kind of I don't like I was rethinking over all the footage like we got some decent b-roll but didn't get nearly as much as what we would have liked but we needed a day to kind of chill out so we're gonna take you guys around the ship she wants to preview the menu tonight in the main dining room that's free 
decide if there's anything she really wants, and if not, I think we may book the steakhouse. I was afraid they were gonna have the garlic soup. They and, don't have the garlic but soup? But they have the chicken corn on blue, which is one of your favorites. That is one of the good so ones. So it's up to you. I kinda want a steak. You have to make a reservation. So we just had to go up 11 flights of stairs for this thing. We're good. We're good for tonight. We're gonna have some great steaks. Lobster for me, probably. It's probably. gonna be fantastic. But, should we be ashamed of this? I'm not. We literally just left making that reservation. Our dinner's in two hours. And we decided to have a quick snack. Okay. This is the problem with a cruise. It's so hard to be restrictive and, and self-conscious. But, I mean, great food, view, doesn't get much better than that. Look at the size of this patch of seaweed. I've never seen it like that. It's like a blanket. What is this? We're cutting through it. That's weird. That's really weird. And it stops right here. What in the world? Oh man. Oh. I don't want to take this stuff. <laughs> oh, let's grab some of this while we're at it. I was waiting to see if you're gonna see that. Why is it right there? I'm not sure what's going on. I just kind of hit a wall like an hour or two ago and after like, I took a shower. Died. Yeah, I I don't know what it is. Honestly, my voice is a lot of times, especially when we take these trips, my throat's very weak because I use it so much recording the gaming videos before we leave and I have to do like 20 days worth of work in 10 days and it's just super stressful so my throat started feeling a little weird I was getting a little bit of that congestion and drainage and stuff so Chelsea's get me up on the drugs the nothing day. like coming on a cruise and drinking and doing drugs am I right guys no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. but uh, yeah so I'm gonna take this hopefully feel a little bit better then we have our dinner in a couple of minutes which I'm excited about but Hopefully I can get this feeling right, because we have a very exciting day tomorrow we don't want to yeah. miss out on. Did you seriously wear a cow skull dress to a steak dinner? The irony did this game. This is kind of sad. <laughs> the one thing we just noticed is that this restaurant has really nice decor. All of the artwork around and the pictures are all framed dogs, and I apologize for that voice crack because <laughs> my my throat I've been hurts. Staring at it's breaking my little heart. Look, guys, he's real sad. My mom just texted us a picture of Cooper, who also looks fairly sad and maybe a little bit upset that he's not currently he's not currently enjoying this meal with us. So we definitely miss him. It's so weird because my mom constantly sends us pictures and videos of the boys and I feel like this is probably what couples feel like when they take a vacation with other kids. Oh, 100%. Because it's like... I worry about them like... We have a great time, but we honestly think about them many times a day. While we're we gone. literally see things and we'll be like, oh, Cooper would love to do that. Cooper would love to see that. Right before I turned this camera on, she was talking about what presents we were going to bring them back. Like what dog toys and stuff like that. So is, That's a serious thing. It's important. They need gifts. Do you like how moist my cake is? It's real moist. It's, it's pretty extra moist. I got red velvet. She got the key lime. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen so much meringue stand up straight in my life. That's beautiful. That is amazing. We can't end this vlog just yet. I have a fantastic story for you guys. So first of all, I want to say I'm sorry that this one ended up being a little bit short. The thing is, is sometimes it's kind of hard to balance like the living in the moment versus the recording everything for YouTube. And I feel like for the most part, we do a good job with that. But with this one, it, we were just like catching up with friends and stuff and that doesn't make for good content. So it, there wasn't really like a story to tell. We were just right. And it, it, we were like, we were there to kind of like see people and, and relax. We weren't really there to like explore the island because we've done it before and we've had more time before. I think we only had like four or five hours here and you had to drive to the other side of the island and stuff. So it just, it, it wasn't the best one that it could potentially be from St. Kitts. I promise you guys, I think we're going to go back for New Year's. 
So you guys will see more from there soon. But I've got a little story to tell you guys, and I, I think this is gonna be worth it. So if you guys remember the very first clip from the start of this video, it was from the ship looking at the island and there is that little excavator out there picking up the rocks. Well, this was a time lapse, so Chelsea and I were sitting there for like 10 or 15 minutes, just kind of like watching this happen as the camera was recording. And at first it was like we were talking about like, oh, that must be so tedious. Like, what did you do all day? Pick things up and put them down. Move 12 <laughs> rocks, that sort of thing. And then eventually we started talking, we were like, oh my gosh, this looks a little sketchy. What if he falls in? What if we got it on camera? Which I think that kind of makes us bad people for thinking that. But who wouldn't think uh, we that? We were dreaming up good content. Be, be, be real. <laughs> so we were thinking about that, and lo and behold, he actually ended up falling in. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was later that day that he fell in, and then a few days later we saw that TJ posted on Facebook that their company, the, the one that all of our friends that we know down there, since they're a diving company and they're like one of the only major diving schools in the Caribbean, they had to go and fish the thing out. So TJ was underwater hooking cables and stuff up to dig that backhoe out that we had taken video of, <laughs> which I thought was just a really, really funny thing. And you guys yeah. can see some pictures on screen. So kind of a, uh, a crazy, weird, like final destination. I feel like we almost <laughs> willed that to happen. Yeah. So uh, anyway, just a, a little story there for you guys again. Sorry for the short vlog. The next couple days are definitely going to make up for it. We've got Antigua yeah. tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. So I hope you guys are ready. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.